Welcome everyone to Engineering Economy. Inshallah, today we will talk about the part two of chapter six, and specifically we are going to focus on this example. It is very important example, similar to the capitalized cost uh, that we covered in chapter five. Um, it is again here repeated in chapter six, and the reason is the relation between the annual and the present appeared in the uh, permanent investment case when we have life cycle forever. Uh, thereafter, all the keywords that we have covered that refer to the infinity or permanent investments. Um, this example has three alternatives or three uh, scenarios. Um, the first one, it has a first cost. Uh, let's read it one by one. The proposal A requires uh, dredging the canal. The state uh, is planning to purchase the equipment with this amount. So this is initial cost. The equipment is expected to have 10 years life. That's mean the number of years. Uh, and uh, 17,000 is a salvage value at the end of the number of years. Then the annual operating cost is $50,000. To control uh, uh, weeds in the canal itself and along the bank, environmentally safe uh, herbicides will be sprayed during irrigation season. The yearly cost uh, of the control of that uh, irrigation will be $120,000. All this for proposal A. Proposal B will be. Um, an investment of a concrete uh, canal or wall that costs four million dollars and the, the the lining is assumed to be permanent so this is a keyword permanent uh, even though if it was not uh, bold or italic font you could identify it but minor maintenance will be required every year at a cost of five thousand so there is an operating cost will be annually 5,000 and the repairs will have to be made every five years at a cost of 30,000. So there is annual operating cost every year when it says every year here uh, in the proposal B that is 5,000 and there is every five years and this project the number of years is permanent. The last one is proposal C to construct a new pipeline and the initial cost estimated to be six million. The operating cost is annually three thousand and the number of years is fifty years. Compare the alternatives of the basis of annual worth using interest rate five percent. So we have three alternatives. We have to use the annual worth analysis to um, identify which one is the better or is the more economical and in this case we have to convert them into a cash flow so it's better visual for the problem and you can count the number of years among the single values so if we convert them to um, a cash flow alternative a will be or proposal a will be in this shape the 650 initial cost the annual operating cost is 170 and the salvage is 17,000. The proposal B will be 40, uh, 4 million for the initial cost. And there is annual for 5,000 for infinity. And there is 30,000 every five years it appears. And the last proposal, it is the easiest maybe, uh, 6 million initial cost, then annual operating cost. Uh, for 3,000 and also it is last for how many? For 50 years. So the number of years is 50 here, here infinity and here is 10 years. That's why I uh, decided to revise this example again because it has different scenarios and include uh, different cases. Um, so let's take it one by one. How we formulate the first um, scenario we have the initial cost, the 650. It is present format, and here we are dealing with the annual. So converted to an annual, we use the converter A given P. The given value is the present, 
and the required is the annual well, and the I is five number of years is the number of years of that proposal is 10 years then plus and why it is plus and that minus because the 17,000 is a salvage value comes at the end of year 10 it's a single value so it is placed on year 10 to have it as an annual we have it a given F then we have the operating cost which is the 170,000 dollars and that's 170 it is um, uh, an annual no need to convert it in this case or this example it shows it he broke it down to 50,000 uh, and 120 and the reason in the question was given that uh, the yearly cost of the control was 120 and the operating cost was 50,000. So they are both annual, but uh, they come separated in the example. So either you combine them and add them because both of them are annual, or you put them as the example showed here. He put them in the way they appear in the example. So in the example, they appear separate. So he put them separately than each other. Then we convert them using the tables and get the value of the annual worth. Now, I'm going to the scenario B. Scenario B is the one that has more complex uh, values. The 4 million, it is single placed on year zero. It is present to convert it to an annual. It is easy to do that. You do the same as we did for the 650A uh, given P, but instead of um, using A given P and number of years since it is infinity, so we just multiply it with the interest rate. The interest rate is 0 0.05. And the reason is because the number of years is infinity. Otherwise, you can go to the tables that has infinity and you look for uh, A given P for 5% for N equal infinity. Or you just use the capitalized cost formula, which is the one multiply the rate with the present that gives you uh, the annual. Yes, correct, because P equal A divided by I, so A equal P times I from the formula here. A equal P present worth times I, which is the interest rate. Continuing with the values given, we have the 5,000, it is annual for infinity, so we place it with the minus sign as is the 30,000, again here, as we did for Chapter 5 case. Now, we deal with the first one only. We don't deal with the remaining 30,000 that appeared forever every five years. We deal only with the first one for year five. And in this case, we convert it from a future, because it is placed on the future, to an annual using a given f for five years. You want to find the annual for five years, using a given f after you find the annual then what you do is you already found the required but but if it was for chapter five then you divide it over i you divide it over i if it was for chapter five requiring present but here you just find the annual and that's all what is required you find the annual from one to five and it is equivalent to all the annual that is going to appear in the future so it is easier as we said compared to chapter 5 case of the permanent investment the last scenario which is the easiest one here we have um, 6 million and it is again a given p as uh, scenario a for 5 percent and number of years is 50 because it was stated in the question the life is 50 years and then we have minus 3000 which is the annual that lasts for 50 years then we calculate them and get the value then we select the largest numerical when you compare minus 252 minus 210 minus 331 then alternative b is the most economical among the other alternatives that is for this example for the permanent investment uh, I decided to use the same example because it has 
uh, three different scenarios. It covers um, all the different number of years for different projects, and it has the capitalized cost uh, case. We saw previously about comparing alternatives and calculating the capital recovery. That is all the type of questions could come for chapter six. It is easier and simpler and shorter compared to chapter five. Um, however, you have to identify or know what is the meaning of capitalized recover, uh, capital recovery, which uh, clarified in the last lecture. Now I will leave the time for the questions uh, before we take the uh, attendance.